today I'm going to tell you all about our absolutely incredible trip that we had to Hacienda Las Palmas Hunting and Fishing Lodge in Mexico. Our journey began by flying into the McAllen, Texas airport. And if you didn't know, McAllen, Texas is right on the U.S. and Mexico border. At the airport, Jose was waiting for us in this giant van where we were loading up to make the three hour drive into Mexico. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all, we were driving through a very dangerous part of Mexico, but I do have to say, not once did I ever feel unsafe or endangered. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, cheers. cheers. Woo. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Of course, as soon as we were pulling up, they were waiting on us with margaritas. What a great way to start off the weekend. As soon as we walked inside, we were also greeted with these incredible snacks. Like, so good, y'all. So delicious. And then we walked outside to see this beautiful sunset. What a fabulous way to start an incredible weekend. This weekend, I was definitely not concerned with staying low carb because we had some absolutely five star meals. For dinner the first night, we started off with soup and then our entree was steak and potatoes with bone marrow. I have never tried bone marrow. The texture was a little bit different for me, but it tasted amazing. It made me branch out and try something new, and I'm glad I did. After dinner, we went and passed out to get ready for fishing the next morning. Of course, we started out with another fabulous meal before we headed out on the water. We started off the morning with fishing on Lake Guerrero. Lake Guerrero is located maybe 100 yards from the lodge and it's famous for producing absolutely incredible bass. Basically, fish of a lifetime are all in this lake. A cold front had moved in the night before so we figured fishing wouldn't be too good. However, I did end up catching one fish and it happened to be a decent sized one. I was pretty happy. After that, we froze all morning and then it was time to go in for lunch. For lunch, we had the most incredible meal. It was called chili rellenos, and it's basically a poblano pepper stuffed with ground beef and covered in this roasted red pepper sauce. And y'all, we were all raving about this meal. But on another note, check out the inside of the lodge. It is beautiful. Hacienda Los Palmas! Let's go fishing! in Mexico looking for some big old largemouth bass. Today we've caught five or six that are, you know, maybe one to two pounds, but we're looking for that double digit bass. It may not happen tonight, but we're crossing our fingers. It's gonna happen tomorrow, that's for sure. Big happen one. Yeah, we got all the fish and everybody's taking a picture with my fish. <laughs> After we finished up with fishing, we went back to our rooms and got ready for dinner. 
And all I have to say is where we were having dinner was absolutely stunning. There was a fire pit. We were having dinner underneath this beautiful tree. And we even got to shoot some clays in the dark. We had four different types of tacos for dinner and they were some of the most amazing tacos I have ever had in my entire life. Going to do some fishing this morning. <laughs> Yay! Got a bass! She's got a nice little bass. Or not a little, it's a nice one. Yeah, he's a nice little yeah. bass. Look at him. Heck yeah! Good job, girl! First one of the morning! First Let's one! Let's do this, y'all! Been here about five minutes and look at, she's already on. We need his grandpa now. Yes. That's for sure. Got another one! Second one in the boat today, y'all. Still a little bit too small, but hopefully we'll catch some bigger ones. He's awesome. pretty though. He is pretty, he's good color. Yeah, let him go. Let him grow. There he goes. Woo! Woo! Awesome. <laughs> oh my golly. Look, Look at, this at this bass. This bass is huge. Holy moly. Y'all, look at this bass. This thing is gigantic. By far the biggest bass I have ever seen in my entire life. Look at this guy. This is what we came for here in Mexico on Lake Guerrero. Look at this fish. Beautiful. Holy moly. A little dink, but still a bass, so we can't complain. That's for sure. There's a drone up there watching us. <laughs> but yeah, gonna let this little guy gonna let this little guy go and let him grow. There you go. Hi! <laughs> Still fish. Yeah! Woo! Little fish! Oh yeah. Look at this little guy. Look at him. A little nice bass. Still not what we're looking for, but small lives you know matter. <laughs> small bass matter. He's still cutie. Here we go. Nice little bass. Time to let him go. There he went. <laughs> 3D footage right there. After an awesome last morning of fishing, we were headed in to have a crazy lunch. For lunch, we had suckling pig that had been roasted. Alongside that, we had rice, fried cheese, cactus, rice, corn, tortillas, Y'all, it was definitely a feast. Holy moly. After lunch, it was time to get changed and on the road. We were going on about a 45 minute drive down the road because we were going dove hunting. I have never dove hunted, so this was a brand new experience for me. The entire time we were traveling with Hacienda Las Palmas, we felt like we were being treated like rock stars. There was always someone waiting on you hand and foot, making sure you had everything that you needed. Even while we were dove hunting, that was no exception. They brought with them a table and they set up all kinds of alcohol because you know what goes better than alcohol? Alcohol and guns it made me laugh quite a bit. That's when I knew I was in Mexico. After we were finished dove hunting, it was back in the van and back to the lodge we went. As soon as we got home, we were greeted with yet another fabulous meal. It had been a crazy two days for us and we were all absolutely pooped. So as soon as we finished dinner, we all went to our rooms and just went to bed because we were all so exhausted from such an amazing weekend. 
The next morning, we were up bright and early and greeted with yet another fabulous meal before we hit the road back to the United States. Once again, I never felt unsafe or in a dangerous place while we made this drive back to the U.S., but I do have to say I was very excited once we were crossing back into U.S. soil. To end out this video, I just wanted to share some pictures from our incredible weekend at Hacienda Las Palmas Hunting and Fishing Lodge in Mexico. We had such an amazing trip and I cannot wait to go back.